from the Premiera Blue Cross Studio, here's Margaret Larson. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to New Day Northwest. We start off with a new movie from DreamWorks. Opening tomorrow, Abominable is the story of a teenager who discovers a Yeti on the rooftop of her apartment building in Shanghai. She and two friends head out on a 2,000-mile journey to get the Yeti they name Everest back home to his family in the Himalayas. Dumplings play a role in their epic adventure. So what better way to celebrate than with personal chef Olive Huang of Cooking Dolls. Hello, Hello. how are you? Great. And you've got a spread here. What are we mm. making? We're making baozi. Baozi. What does that mean? Well, just like a pork bun. It's oh, a most okay. traditional recipe. Woo, excellent. You've seen the movie, too, yes, right? Yes, I did. You saw a screening. Is it wonderful? It's great. It I saw so the trailer. Much fun. It looks so cute. Yes. Okay, so this is our homage to the Yeti mm -hmm. and his friends. How do we start? So we have so many ingredients in front of us. And let's talk about the filling first. Okay, good. So the filling is seasoned with many different traditional Chinese uh, wine, for example. Mm -hmm. Some audience may not know what uh, Chinese cooking wine is all about. So you can totally use sake, like a clear kind, or you can use those caramel color right. ones. And so this is soy sauce, salt and pepper, and mm -hmm. white pepper. And one thing to boost the flavor is to have those ginger and scallion water. Oh. So all you have to do is prepare some hot water and yeah. you soak your ginger and scallion for like 30 minutes and let it infuse. And then I use the water. Yes. Okay, that's a great idea. And I see star anise and exactly. other things in here. Exactly. So this Little is something fennel, I want to... dried fennel? Yes, those are dried fennel and Sichuan peppercorn. Since uh, appear to be a little spicy, if you like, right. and definitely star anise. So pretty. Okay, so let's let's make the stuffing. Is that what we've done here? Yes. So you want to start with a, a fattier uh, part of pork ground ground pork over here, so you can see it's more chunkier. Right. So try not to mince it too much. So what cut would you recommend? Uh, I think Asian market would tend to give you uh, just ask for the fattier uh, ground. <laughs> yes, and, and they usually do it. they okay. usually do it for you, no problem. And you see how you know. Uh, course it is. Yes. So here is after all the ingredients are into this mix mm -hmm. of filling. And notice I chopped the scallion way chunkier so it have that texture. I like that because then there's something to bite into. Yes. And that, that always feels good. Oh, also I add water chestnut all the time. Um, another thing that I often use is those cabbages. Those mm -hmm. uh, cabbages are, uh, look at those, those are a little Ooh. Thinner, this is an Asian type, but definitely any cabbage is good. Napa cabbage is good. Just remember to uh, sprinkle some salt and, and uh, let the water come out okay. before you use it and you chop it a little bit grainier like this. All right, a little bit thicker. Okay, very yes. good. Another thing very important is to do this motion when you mix them. Mm -hmm. You want to stir those meat like this for a couple minutes. So it created this little stringy thing over there. Oh, it's actually in, in, uh, enhanced the texture. How about that? Yeah. So can you see? Yeah. So just, just keep going. Keep going this minutes. directions. Yes. Interesting. Can you also smell the? Yeah, I can. Oh, those definitely. But I can see the strings going together that give it that that wonderful texture. Exactly. Really cool. And today is National Dumpling Day. By oh the way, yes. Right? So we're we are on top of this. Making lots of buns for everybody to <laughs> eat. Another really important thing is some sesame oil. Mm -hmm. uh, so you not only to make your filling shiny, it has great flavor to it. it smells. Does yes. it smell like sesame? Yes. Ooh, and, and buy roasted delicious. sesame ones. It's even yeah, better. Yeah, that's what I think I'm smelling, right? There's a little mm -hmm. more smoky flavor to that. Exactly. I love it. So okay. here goes our filling. Now we're going to go into the dough. So the wrapper here, I have made it. And this morning, that looks beautiful. And they pop up, up almost twice. And you, b right before you wrap it, you want to beat it down. Okay. Let, yes, let the air came out. Do you want to try it? Sure. You feel the air. It feels like this see? is good for your soul too. You, kind of, you know, get in there and get some of your frustrations out. Is that good enough? That's what I always say. Don't worry too much because I'm gonna take it out and <laughs> find a surface, and you flow it a little bit like this. Alrighty. Not too much. I just don't want to stick everywhere. Look at how, you know, how it's beautiful. Very, very easy to almost like a pizza dough texture. So people who are not familiar with the Asian uh, doughs, these are just yeast, flour, water, yeah. really simple. That looks like something we're familiar with regardless. <laughs> yeah, a little sugar, you know. So look, so all I'm doing is to kind of start roll it into a log. So the recipe for this portion can make 12 dumpling wraps. Mm -hmm. So look, I'm just simply 
You just stretched it out. Stretch it and out. And then you're rolling it to make it into to a make it cylinder. To make it even, yes, a cylinder. And eventually I'm going to cut into 12 pieces. Okay. So I always suggest if you have a scale like this at home, uh, it's good to use it so you make all the wrapper even size. Oh, that's right? a good idea. Yeah. Because you can always stick more onto it or do exactly. whatever you need to do, right? So roughly, so about how much are you trying to get? We're, we're getting 12 out of this entire dough. Mm -hmm. So basically, you just kind of do six and six here. Got it. But today, I'm going to rely on my scale. All right. So we're going to do 32 gram. This is explaining my recipe mm -hmm. very clearly. So, you know, roughly about this size. That's good. So we don't have to guess. That's you good. don't really guess. So this is 40. So all you need to do is to do it until 33, 32. That's perfect. Okay. So and so we're go just going to demonstrate this. Doing. I'm going right, to do that one. I'm just going to poke this back in here yes. for fun. Yes. And you definitely should uh, roll one out as well. So if you're not using it right away, please cover your dough mm -hmm. back and so they don't dry it out. Is that a That's very do important. You have moisture on that or just cover it? Just cover it. No moisture is okay. I'm going to measure mine Great. just for fun. Let's see if I come anywhere close. Whoops. Pretty good. Too much. Yeah, just pinch it off. Too much. That's good. Close. That's close, yes. That 33. I want it to be 32 because I'm having one of those days where I need everything <laughs> to be precise. Okay, so I'm just going to pinch it out like you so did? So all I'm doing is, well, actually, you want to do it, you want to look more cool. You want to do a, <laughs> like this, okay? like rolling a, so first of all, you make it a little ball. Okay. And that's more common. And then you sort of use a bottom of your thumb. You just kind of use your body force, kind of force it down to a disc. Look, okay. doesn't oh, that's have to amazing. be perfect. Exactly, it doesn't have to be perfect round. You got it? <laughs> Pretty good. Do Close. it one more time. One more time? Mm -hmm. That was sort of an edge and that popped up over there. That's okay. That's all we need. Look, so How now do I we got. Stop that. <laughs> oh, we're going to do more. All right. We're going to do a little bit of work on this dough, right? So we want it to roll out about three inch uh, diameter. So you can always have an A. I love those. Isn't little that great? Cheat sheets where you so can this, see? Exactly. Three exactly. Inch. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. So, so the, you just do it like you would a pie dough or something? Just stretch it out with a roller? No, this is something different. Okay, I'm see ready. It. Yes. Okay, the goal is to uh, make sure you, you have a mount in the center and you want to roll it really flat uh, by the edges. Okay. So what you do is, look carefully. I'm looking. Okay. <laughs> like you got to do be one a magic too. Trick. Yeah, it's it kind of sort of like so. I want it a little okay. bigger just to make my uh, easier. Mm -hmm. So you go up and down on one hand. Okay, just yeah. just keep one like playing piano. You remember one hand right. up and down. You go up to only about eighty percent and down. You turn it up oh, and down. Interesting. You go ahead up and down, and okay. you go ahead what up and down. Okay, for time purposes, go ahead and stop yours, and I I will work on mine while yes, you're doing that. Yes, that would be so. But, but you go go ahead. Yeah, and you can always stretch and make it rounder, so you can fix it. I think it. I've already forgotten what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> Do it this. again. Yes. All right, and then I'm just doing part Up of it. Up and down, and use more body force. You need that force, so it will be thin yes. on the All edges. All the body force I have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Yes, uh, and keep going one more time, right, four right, times a, a at little. least. I think mine went into a tri shape instead of a square shape, but don't worry, we're, we can we're fix close. it. Good job. Okay, let's pretend that's and good. Plus, remember, you can always stretch it a little we bit. We can pull it. Just, okay, so as mine looks like a sand dollar. Yours looks a little better. Okay, so go ahead. Closest around. So here you go. You take one tablespoon, even better. This recipe is pretty precise. Mm -hmm. And then you put roughly about one tablespoon of filling in the center. Okay. And you will go ahead and this is another part that need a little explanation. Yeah, so, show me because it, I yeah. always end up with too much filling and it's popping out. So I want to see how you do this. Everybody's first spun is always like really rough, but right. okay. after you practice twice, so you want to stay your thumb mm -hmm. in the one spot, and then you you use this other thumb as an aid to to crimp. To crimp. So you're pleating you. as soon as you can. You see that? Mm -hmm. And you, you you use this to push it down and see. I don't have enough dough. What am I gonna do? Don't worry. <laughs> you just pull it up. You will have enough dough. And have if you faith. exactly. And if you think it's too much, because we're doing a very tiny bun today, I'm actually mini making a mini sized bun. So they're much smaller than normal. So just go ahead. Look. Just yeah. keep pulling. And at the end. You would definitely close you it up. Look, just swirled it shut. That's exactly. amazing. Exactly. See that? And then you rotate this other hand Look at that. to make that really good sh 
round shape. At the end, you gently pinch together and you kind of let it yeah. go and let there it you go. Are. Can we see the finished one so we know oh, what it looks course. like when it's all I'll cooked? I'll show you. So once oh it's gosh. cooked, it's all puffed up and those look so beautiful. And two tears. Just layers of goodness. Thank you so very You're much. Welcome. Those are beautiful. Abominable opens in movie theaters tomorrow and it looks really adorable. I saw the trailer at the movies this past weekend and today we have a prize pack for five lucky New Day viewers that includes tickets to see the movie plus fun swag to enter to win. Please go to our Facebook page, comment below the post pinned at the very top. Just go up to the top, comment there and good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. When we come back, a fun and fascinating new field guide that looks at creatures on the realm between real and imaginary. And the author knows a thing or two about yetis as well. We'll meet her next. Excellent.